Mason with a nifty little step through the neutral zone and then underneath the stick of Smith. Spins his way around. Continues on. Gets Draws tackled. Penalty. Yeah, tackled down along the sideboards. Candela shot that one wide of the goal. Student each will be the first man there. The Bulldogs will control back into neutral ice. He was taken down along the boards by Chris Cameron. He might fit in well on Sunday with the Patriots. Well, this will be Hamilton's first power play of the evening there. Power play 13th in the OHL. Barry's PK comes in 18th. And here is the call. As yep, number five. We're only able to kill five out of eight man advantages. Even against Flint, I don't believe they even had a power play, did they, Reed? Not that I recall. As Cramarosa puts on the brakes, back for Candela across. Lemke, back on Candela. Now for Cramarosa, there's that high play to walk down, try to feed Sajan. Cramarosa with it again. Still 35 seconds of man advantage time. Lemke walks the line. Across Student Each. Back for Lemke. He's on a bit of a hot streak himself. Now Student Each with space. Save made. Batted out of the air. They score. Brandon Sajan, the tremendous hand eye, makes it 1 0, and he's safe at first. I'm not sure if they will take another look at this, but it looked. From our vantage point, like a good goal. We'll get a second look at it here. Hamilton's able to keep the puck in the zone here. Student just gets that puck on goal. And you know what, Reed? They say it's never a bad play to shoot. Maybe not on a 3 on 0, but in that case. And Sage in there with the rebound. And it'll be his 11th goal of the year, and it is a good goal. They did have a, a quick discussion over at the scorer's bench, and it was immediately ruled. A good goal on the ice. Is it Nurse not able to handle that one through Howard Chuck springs forward? And we've settled into a bit of a tennis match back and forth. Jack Hanley digs it back around for Connor Walters. Up the boards, and that's taken away by Stefano. Bounced wide of the goal. Chioto around the back for Stefano. Howard Chuck lurking in the slot. Chioto on the backhand. Rings out, lays it back to the line for Hedberg. Fires it through the crowd. Going wide to the Hamilton goal. Now Zach Jackson will take the puck and has a chance to move it ahead. And all of a sudden has numbers. Student each is shot. Partially blocked. Jackson settles onto the puck. Tried to play it through Cameron, who took body. Templeton at the line, snaps it. Baden Horst will scoop it. 11.30 left to play. In pair. Should have been a penalty, but I'm not sure tripping was the right call. However, I think they got it right in the end. Shots 8-2 in favor of Hamilton. They're one for one on the power play. That's one of those danger zone plays. If you can't get to the shoulder, you can't push a guy in the numbers to the boards in that situation. And as Justin Lemke steps across the very line, plays it for Sajan on the backhand. He tried to lift it. Loose in the crease and student each scores. This power play unit has created two as Marion student each finds the puck in the scramble in front and bangs it to the back of the goal. 2-0 Hamilton. Well, Perks Canada has two seats in between the two benches, which are the best seats in the house, and Marion student each was camped out in front of the net here, and he goes to the dirty areas, and he's going to be rewarded as he pokes that puck in between the skates of the defenseman. Number two, Tyler Tuck, who is trying to cover up for Badenhorst. And just like that, that's two for Hamilton, though we are going to have a review to see whether perhaps student each interfered with the goaltender. Well, if it's goaltender interference, the wording of it is that you cannot interfere with the goaltender's ability to reset and make a save. In this situation, Badenhorst didn't know where the puck was. So he didn't really have much of a chance to reset. That puck gets in behind him off a second opportunity from Sajin. We'll take another look. Here's Sage, and he whacks it back out in front. Badenhorst has no idea where that puck is. He's still looking over towards the corner. We'll wait for the review. It is 1.41 left up on the board on the power. If that, so Student Each did score January 26 against Saginaw. That was his first goal in 14 games. Short review, Norm. They've already hung up the phone. And we've That's got a good goal. goal. So ninth of the year for Student Each, and that's now two goals for him in his past four games, and he's already got himself a two-point night. Yeah, the Bulldogs had to be thinking, this looks a lot like the team we had to play last year in that building. There's Hanley. 
Puts on the brakes behind his own goal. That seemed like a night where anything that could go wrong did go wrong. As Cameron fires that one just wide of the goal. Hedberg keeps it in. Obviously, the Colts building a little bit of momentum here. As Kukovicius plays this one on for Nikki Petty. Poked away by Christopher Cameron. Back on for Magwood. Magwood tried to split three. He'll work it to the outside and back for Fenoro. Fenoro plays it along for Brown, who takes possession off Nikki Petty. Stick in front. Frees that up for Matt Luff. Puck gets out of the zone. Matt Luff with enough draw weight there to get that puck over the blue line. Barry right back at it. Fenoro on top of the puck as the Colts with a push here. Sajin will step back into his own zone past Chioto. Played that one on. Just off the stick of Matt Luff who really needs a line change and now we'll get it. Keen just escaped the check there by Zach Jackson. And Zach Jackson's bearing down on you. That's like the sun disappearing slowly in front of your eyes. Jackson from Barry, 6'3", 189. As Jackson plays this one ahead and almost had student each on a sneak away, but Gleason will erase an icing. Ben Gleason turned on the Jets and beat everybody. Student each steps back to the middle, tried to lay that along for Jackson, who will take the check of Howard Chuck, work the puck to the boards. Puck will just get past student each and out of the zone, Chioto. Across the Hamilton blue line. Plays this one on for Stefano, the goal scorer. Wanted back for Howard Chuck. Strom will come to the loose puck. Jackson will give chase to the Bulldogs. Change out behind him. Kyoto up the boards. Templeton had that one bounce over his stick, but used the long reach to recover back for Gleason. Puck played along. Steven Templeton. Lifts that into the zone. Sajin will chase it down. The student each on the far side. Puck wrapped hard up the boards. Gleason, stop and go. On for student each. Back for Templeton. There's Gleason. And that one deflected and rolled wide of the goal. Gleason will settle it outside the zone. On for Templeton. And the Bulldogs want to attack again. Now Ben Gleason will retreat behind his own goal. Norm Gleason had that one right back. He looked like he was going to try to blow that one Backed out in the black and gold. Yeah, still perhaps working in a new pair of black and gold pads. He's still wearing those Rangers, Kitchener Rangers pads with the red and blue. As I said to you before we went on air tonight, I spoke with the goaltenders union, and they told me that the pads are the hardest part of the goaltender's equipment to break in properly, and you don't want to use a pair of pads you're not comfortable with. And, and I think that's probably... Uh, I can understand that, even though I am not a goaltender. Talk about those goal differentials. So Hamilton sits here with 49 points in fifth at a plus nine. Kingston ahead of them with 54 points. They're at a minus 15. Ottawa just four points behind Hamilton, and they've got a minus 37 goal differential. So you see that plus nine for Hamilton, and you wonder perhaps, again, you're probably right, a lot of, some, a lot of big scores early in the year for Hamilton that gave them that favorable advantage. Hedberg throws that one on. It's knocked away. And now Ben Gleason will pick it up. Yeah, Hamilton went from being a blowout team into a situation where it was a lot of one-goal games. Yeah, they had a stretcher. It seemed every other game they were losing by a goal. Pekka's drive. That one up and over the top. And with a one-goal lead right now, they've got to find their skating legs again as Heitzner has that one chopped away. The Barry Colts have come with a push here in the second period. As this one's whipped across, open side, Fedoro tried to find Smith, but the puck got tangled up and he couldn't get a hold of it. Now Zach Jackson will stride ahead. And Jackson gets decked by Cameron, which Sajin didn't like, and Brandon Sajin in behind Justin Murray. Now thrown ahead, Smith snaps that across, looking for Radke, student each will take the puck. Marion Studenich going skate the stick. Tries to work around the outside of Tucker. Nurse tried to crash the middle. Nurse will take the puck, spins it on goal, looking to dig the second chance, and Badenhorst will jam it right to the post. So Studenich drops down for a shift here with the fourth line with Connor Roberts and Isaac Nurse. And Sajin now out of the lineup. Badenhorst, a bit of an anomaly. You're starting to see, it's only 5'9". We're starting to see 
Heck, it seems now if you're not six foot two, you don't get the play goal anymore. Tim Thomas might have had something to say about that for a while there, though. That was Templeton. He has played in a few years, though. Right? No, that's true. Oh, Roberts just got his legs taken out by Tucker. Tucker was out of control coming through that corner. That could have been dangerous. And now Roberts has number two lined up and actually laid off there. I thought he might have been looking to take the number and give a receipt as Gleason back for Roberts. Just missed wide of the goal. Nurse can't get enough on it. And that one went off of his stick wide on the short side. Two great chances there for a pair of Bulldog rookies and Connor Roberts and Isaac Nurse. Roberts, a great feed from Gleason, who again pinches in from the uh, from the defense and creates an opportunity here. Roberts wise to get that puck away quickly. Same with Nurse. It was a just a one shot on goal. Still, still a decent night on the PP though, with two for three. And five shots on goal. Henley shot went just wide. Student each took possession. Walters back to the line. Walks to the middle. Takes the shot. I believe that went off of Keane. Up and into the meshing out of play. Faceoff will come to the left of Badenhorst. It's a bit of a different looking Bulldog line here. Kukovicius on with Student each and Jackson. But that could just be the result of the line juggling with the power play unit. And John Gruden and his coaching staff can have to get a little bit creative here down to 11 forwards. Puck wrapping around the backboards. Magwood steps to the inside. Being a bit like you snacking on a bag of bits and bites after the game. You know, next handful, whole new ball game. How did you know? Never mind. As Smith up for Stan each. That is an old commercial reference, and if you got that, no, oh, I, I did. I remember that one quite well. That goes back to the days of the glow and puck. As <laughs> Smith. Turns that one forward. As I usually say in these broad... And now Smith in neutral ice crosses the Hamilton line. Justin Murray knocks it down low. Douglas is there. Tried to get that out in front of the net. Ten seconds left in the period. Radke and Douglas. A couple of big boys down low for the Colts. And Gleason runs Radke off. Strom will get it up the boards and out. And that's how we will end the Go. second. Visit Kojiko.ca for current offers. Well, the Barry Colts have been outscored 59 to 40 in the third period this season. Hamilton has outscored their opponents 47 to 40. It's actually the best of their three periods. So John Gruden's gone back to work as the mad scientist. We're going to see Will Bitten, Luke Kukovicius, and Michael Cramarosa together. First time this season we've seen the three of them work as a line. Timing off a little bit there as Kramaros was offside ahead of Petkovicius. Hamilton had to just dump it in. There's a lot of speed between those three as shot from Smith is on goal. And we've seen this consistently this season, Norm. If John Gruden feels something isn't quite mixing well, he's not afraid to shake the lines up and make them look a little bit different. And we're seeing it again tonight. And generally, he's been right. He's found combinations at times when he's needed them. And right here, you'll see Connor Roberts in between Zach Jackson and Marion Student each. Well, that'll mean limited minutes for Isaac Nurse and Ben Garrigan, and perhaps the other two forwards in this third period. Zach Jackson coming in to help out Student each, who cannonballed himself into the backboards. Puck comes loose. Brown chops it off the boards and out. Templeton to settle it. Back on for Ben Gleason. Buck has played ahead. Marion Student each will be first man in. The gates any icing. Yeah, forced Badenhurst to play that puck. Student each pinned up there by Murray. Connor Roberts in to try to help out. And it's stuck right in there, and it's going to be fished through. Fenoro was the first man to pick it away. It came back towards Tucker's and almost stopped dead behind the goal. Douglas off the boards behind Fenoro. And they'll have to track it down across the ice. Right, we're going to go with offside. Jaden Pekka. Whoa, Bulldogs might have got away with one there. Pekka looked like he took a stick. Yeah, certainly by his reaction as he came through, it looked like he might have got caught with a stick. Roberts pulls his man over. That's Murray. 
And the puck comes loose to Ben Gleason, who finds Zach Jackson with skating room. Ahead for Marion Studenich, who jumps around Brown. Puck played back to the point. Templeton across. There's Gleason. Lots of time. Gleason to the middle. Fires off the outside of the goal. Marion Studenich. All the way back to the line. Gleason again. A ton of time. Drives off Robertson just wide. Tucker sends it around the boards. It'll be settled there by Douglas as the Colts net was under siege a little bit there. Edberg spins. Almost brought that right into his own goaltender's kitchen. Hamilton out shooting Barry 5-1 in this third period. And what you got to watch is starting to get some momentum is not to get caught on the counterattack. Radke throws this one on. That one sticked away. And Matt Strom to take the puck. Justin Lemke delays it on for Cole Candela. That'll allow the Bulldogs a change. Puck got picked back across looking for Jackson with student each. Didn't work out on the first attempt, so they'll go back to Templeton. Now Roberts lays it ahead. Jackson able to punch it along with the glove. In front, student each. Got a tip on it, but Badenhorst again able to battle it away. Jackson tries to knock this down off the back of the goal. Zach Jackson going one on two and wins the puck, but it gets right between student each and Roberts and the defense. Well, you think Zach Jackson's getting more comfortable at the OHL level? Yeah, big body, and he's looked real good so far tonight. Very lively, creating some chances. Tucker there was just able to get underneath him. Puck has chipped along, and Gleason will stride do it ahead of Aiden Brown. Gleason. It, and he really does seem to be getting better week after week. An important two points for Hamilton. I mean, dropped three games in a row. Jackson outside, Templeton for Gleason with the drive safe. Student Eat just there and he scores! The biggest goal in the OHL career of the Slovakian import gives the Bulldogs a 3-2 lead. Second of the night for Student Each, 10th of the year. And if they could get him going offensively, at one point he went 14 games without a goal. And he goes hard to the net there, great finish. And Marion student each has come alive, and as I just say, Reed, wouldn't that be something for this Hamilton team if they could get a couple guys hot? I mean, Bitten's had a nice little run here with 16 points in his last 10 games. Well, if you look at the potential of a player like a Marion student each, he checks all the boxes. Very quick, very lively. He'll play in the corners in the dirty areas of the ice. And he's got a great skill level. Uh, six feet, 165, so clearly he needs to fill out a little bit. And Student Each is on the fly again. Working to the outside, throws it on Badenhorst. And that all Matt Luff spins that one on for Connor Roberts, has a man, it's Zach Jackson, goes upstairs, and Badenhorst gets it with the blocker. Well, great little play there by Matt Luff, just to hold up, wait for the line change, and next thing you know, Hamilton's got a dangerous looking rush, and Jackson almost finishes. Roberts lays it back, he wanted Jackson again. Badenhorst might have a couple of these Bulldog forwards talking in his sleep tonight. Oh, I wouldn't doubt it. Uh, Stefano lays this back for Howard Chuck. Puck punched to the boards. Thrown on by Tucker. That went in and out of the glove of Cardi. Now on to Zach Jackson. Couldn't find student each in the crowd. Jack Strom goes body to body with Murray. Got the puck back, but the pass will lead Hanley out of the zone. The Bulldogs keep possession of the puck, and that's the key point here. And absolutely for him. He's going to bleed this clock as much as he can. Student each lays this along for Jack Hanley, the backside. Maybe looking for a tip there from Zach Jackson that was behind him. And student each continues it along. What a game Aaron Student each is having. And he's still got the puck. Tries to turn it to the front of the net. And and Roberts is going to get called for interference on the back side of that play. So what a golden opportunity this is for Barry. Two minutes and ten seconds to go. And they're going to call Connor Roberts on a pick play for interference. We'll take another look. Roberts is number 10, just you see him there in between the face-off dots. And he just didn't catch that, but Roberts did get whistled for interference. <laughs>
Let's take a look at the highlights from tonight's game. We'll run you through how the Bulldogs walk away as 3-2 victors tonight. Norm, we thought in the first period this one might turn a little sour for the Barry Colts. It was a pair of power play goals. Yeah, two goals in the first 10 minutes of the first period for Hamilton. And some great work on the power play. Nice clean break out here. Cramarosa is going to get it across. And eventually you're going to see this puck's going to find Marion Stunic who goes right to the front of the net and taps it in. And Hamilton's up 2 nothing at that point. I think we all thought it was going to be a runaway. Defano and the Colts said, if you want to beat us tonight, you're going to have to work for it. And work they did in the third period, Norm. It was pretty well all Bulldogs. And Marion Stunic gets rewarded for the hard work. And Stunic with the face-off win to get it back to the point. They go D to D. Templeton to Gleason. And Stunic rams home the rebound. And what a night for him. This is the guy he scored last weekend against Saginaw. But prior to that, he'd gone 14 games without a goal. And for an offensive player and with the skill level that he is, that's got to feel like such a huge drought and a big weight off his shoulders. We'll see whether that translates into increased confidence for him over the rest of this weekend and down the